Hello. So right now, finish petrol, and then the next we do now is to drive to Oslo. It's a beautiful day, and there's no sunlight, but we have a nice day here in Ørsta. And now it's uh, 10:49, and we're ready to go. Right, son? Yeah. Let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, um, after one hour and 20 minutes sitting in the car, uh, the girl behind me is, is having some problem with her tummy. So we decided to stop the car and so she can have a small walk outside. Now they're coming back. See the distance there, they're coming back. Now we're going to drive on onwards towards uh, Oslo. And right now, just waiting until the car is ready to go again. Also, there's a nice uh, waterfall here next to us, and we can take a small video so you can see how it looks like. There's a small bridge there, and uh, we can go up there just to have a small uh, walk next to the waterfall here. It's very beautiful here, and uh, we have a nice uh, walk. It's not long, and I think lots of people is walking here already because it's uh, not so long. And also, we can have a small view over the hot, hot area. Very nice. My wife and my kids coming up here. You can see this beautiful river. It's quite nice. Alright, so uh, we're stopping now a little bit because down there there's so beautiful view. So if you want to have a small uh, walk up here in the uh, southern part of the Strynefjelle you just go to Billigan and then you can watch this beautiful waterfall okay okay let's go are you happy yeah. Yeah. did you enjoy yeah. yes Let's go up here. Let's see what is behind this rock. Wow! It's a beautiful river. Oh. Very nice. Very nice view. Look. And also, it's going down here. Very nice to watch. Okay, this is the this is the bridge, and we're going to go down there now, and then have a look over the beautiful river behind us. As you can see, the river behind us is uh, forming up nice through the valley here. It's quite nice to look. Oh wow, look, look at that one. What? Did you lock me inside? Huh? Or did you lock me in? Yes. You open up the door here? Nice. Look 
Ah, this is amazing, no? Look. Yes, I'm getting wet. Yeah, I get wet. And then, uh, what, what do you think about the view on the other side of the river? Is that night also? Yeah. You, we should look. Look at this one. Look at this one. Amazing. Did you enjoy that one? It was awesome. I really, really enjoy it. Oh, Dad, is a road going down there? Yes, yes right there. Ah, you want to go down there? Yes. Yes. Right now, we're standing in front of Lume Star Checker, and that is one of the nicest buildings in Norway. And as, you, as we can see, lots of tourists will visit the Lume Star Checker every day. So as you can see, they're taking pictures, and they will really, really appreciate the nice church here in Lume. So you just uh, dragon heads up there. It's quite nice. Hello, so now I'm standing in front of uh, Hosheimstein Santal and that is located in also in Loom and you see in the distance there we see the Loom Stav Tjetka and that is one of the nicest churches in Norway uh, If you're interested to uh, go inside Loom Centrum it's just a few hundred meters from me over there and you have some shops they have some cafeterias, a restaurants, you can eat lots of delicious food. They even also have a moose burger. So uh, very nice. It's a nice area and it has a lot lots of uh, historical backgrounds. Yeah, it's nice. Look at this building behind me. It's very, very nice. Okay, let's go inside and then we see what they have here. Hello, so now I'm in the entrance of the Fosham Stein Center in Lum and uh, we're going to go inside now and uh, we have lots of uh, nice rocks inside here from the local area around Lum and also part of Norway and we have uh, lucky to be uh, talking to the owner here and he has agreed to be on film so let's go inside and then yeah. so we go inside Hos hem stansenter, hos Rosera salger vårt veldig mye på norsk stein, som oss helvis har samlet av selve. Du kommer inn i butikken, og den disken du ser her er det bare en norsk stein som er innpakket i sylv, og det er håndarbeid. 
Det er en røvler, og den er der fin å stå på andre siden av elven her. 12 kilometer nedover. Ellers er det lokale steiner her. Dette er fra Jotunheimen. Og dette er Jotunheimen, og så til hvitt, og så kommer vi hit bortpå. Og dette her er da stein fra Vestlandet, først og fremst da Sogn og Fjordane og Møre og Romsdal. Dette her er da en ekte sunnmøring. Dette er den tunge bergarten Eklogitt, og den er her fra Åheim på nødre sunnmøring. Dette er en veldig vakker bergart som oss bruker mye, produserer, og dette er fellas, dette er tejos, og oss av og til poleres dem, eller oss sover dem, slik at de står fint, og da kalles det fjell. Og vitsen her er jo at det skal være norsk så langt som mulig. Dette her er den største boken som er laget om norske mineral og etter norsk mineralbok. Det er som man skriver om. Og her har vi det veldig mye fra Sundmøre. Blant annet hvis du ser på det er over 400 billetter her. Og veldig mange av dem er da fra Sundmørsområdet. Her har vi oss da Trollstigen, for eksempel. Men dette er da innover mot Finnan. Og her er portrett av forfatteren. Her ligger ned i Olo, i Østefjorden i Volda. Så, et lille hammernav. And behind me is Lilliput Hammer, and the kids are so disappointed because we are half an hour late. So now we have to continue driving towards my brother's house, and then we uh, we can uh, eat dinner there. But this is nice for kids to enjoy, Lilliput Hammer. But it slows already, so we can't go inside. Unfortunately, they're so sad now. Oh, so. Now we are standing in front of my brother's house over there. I just arrived one minute ago. It's amazing to drive 110 km per hour in the in the Essex, but also quite scary. And the road before that one is so complicated. Oh, it turns everywhere, 70, 50, turns everywhere. There's 110 cars behind me. Oh, so very stressful. But now I'm in the in there and we're going to go inside and we're going to eat dinner.